March 22nd, 2014, Front Street Shipyard at the Palm Beach Boat Show. Uh, we've tried this show for the first time this year and just checking out what's going on here and trying to lure boats up to Maine, get people, keep people busy up in Maine. Also, we're trying to develop the Setsu Design line of boats from 92 feet up to 132 feet, working with Ward very carefully on specifications, pricing, so that when we go to the market with the people that are inquiring, we're able to give them budgets and timelines that make sense, and uh, people can be realistic about their planning for the future. These, these new looks are targeted for American taste. They have classic shear lines as a basis to themselves, and uh, they're owner-driven boats in the case of the 92, and then they get larger with the 110-footer, but they're still all about visibility to the water, ease of uh, crewing, and um, all of those features are into them. So classic design lines, but pure lines, a little bit cleaner than in the past. Not as many classic elements, a little bit of the less is more principle, keep it clean and simple. And um, the interiors are the same way. So it's the next generation of what we think a classic American style vessel would be, but it has all the bones of the past within. Back on the patrol boat side of the world is that we're working uh, recently to develop the, the 80 footer. So that may work into our favor to begin that process earlier than we planned. That, that project would be involved almost all of building five, which would then allow us to begin construction of building six, which we've talked about. As part of the patrol boat project, we've realized that our facility down on the waterfront is completely maxed out right now. So we've had to go and look for other facilities that were set up for production boat building. We've looked at Bucksport, the old Union River shop, which was actually a building that was built in 2006. It's perfectly set up for it. We've staffed that facility, uh, we've got it up and running, and we've got a great team up there that is really familiar with the production world. So that just augments our capabilities down on the waterfront. Anytime we have any kind of production run that comes along that's interested in building something like that, now we have the facility that can house it, it's ready for it, it understands production boat building, and can take that challenge on as well.